Hey, what's up, guys? Phil Bayless from Phil Bayless Photography with another wilderness tip. I'm on top of the Marcos Island getting ready to set up our camp. Now, one of the things I wanted to say was that there's no fresh water whatsoever. There's no stores. We had to bring everything here. So we have, like, a big thing of water down there. But what if you don't have any water? So I brought along some plastic bags, clear plastic, and I wrapped it up and made a solar steel. And this is my result. My first solar steel, you can see the little condensation right there. But then, if you look to the bottom, you can see that accumulation. And at three hours time, that's some weight there. And so, uh, you know, in a survival situation, you could definitely get some water there. And I just used some of my climbing spec rope. That's all I had. And I tied it really tight around the limb and that's what I got, and then you just make the water drops fall to one point. And actually, I'm going to take a drink if I get this off. Tied it pretty good because you want it to be tight. Ah. But yeah, I'm just getting ready for camp for the night. And I'm thirsty. There we go. So now I've already accumulated all this water. I'm going to be very careful. I take it off there. And you can still see there all that water that accumulated. Now it's time to get me a drink. So that's all the water there. Got a little bit of pieces of dirt in there, but that's just from the trees, but that's definitely a little sip. Then, the bag smells like the tree or whatever, but it should be all fresh. Mm. It tastes a little greeny, but I guess that's what it would taste like. So yeah, there you go. Solar steel. All you need is a piece of plastic and something to tie it off with.